Hey everybody, back with another video, and today I want to, uh, just want to make sure it was recording, or I wanted to uh, do a video and answer a question from uh, this viewer right here. KMF is asking, why is there 120 volt and 220 volt? What's the difference? Okay, first off, um, my dialogue in some of my older videos was off a little bit. Um, in the olden days, I, I, I was corrected by some of the viewers on, uh, on my dialogue being older than electricity itself or whatever, something like that. But anyway, um, you should probably call it 120 and 240, okay? So now that that's out of the way, 120 and uh, 240 is really, um, it's the most common voltage uh, household voltage and let's lay it out this way you have L oops you got L1 always neutral and L2 okay L1 to neutral is 120 L1 to L2 is 240 okay so the potential energy between here and here only has a certain amount of energy but when you increase the voltage the potential energy goes up okay <clears throat> and let's explain this in another way let's say you have a horse and buggy we're going to draw a wagon from a bird's eye view okay Bear with me, you'll see where we're going with this. And let's hypothetically say that your wagon has a thousand pounds in it, okay? You connect, and don't laugh at my horse, but there it is. You connect one horse to that, now you've got one horsepower pulling a thousand pounds, okay? The energy that that horse can produce can pull that at a certain speed and with certain thrust right it does if you're if you're going on a flat it can go only so fast and it only has so much thrust <clears throat> if you take away that horse and you connect two horses hauling the same load the thrust goes up the speed stays the same. They can't go any faster, but it can pull a lot easier. So you have more potential energy. Okay? So one horse is kind of like 120 volts. When you have two horses, it's kind of like 240 volts. Okay? It requires less energy, less amps. I mean, you have... Um, you're doing the same amount of work. Um, you're doing more work, excuse me, you're doing more work uh, because you have more available potential energy using the two horses. Thus, the two, the L, oops, sorry, the L1 and the L2, okay? Hopefully, this analogy helped you understand the difference between 120 and 240 and why you would use 120 and 240 and, and how that works out. Um, and just real quick, I guess I'll add in is, you know, what loads would you use 240 for? And that would be like uh, motors, um, air compressors, and wells, and welders, and things that air conditioners, um, uh, um, electric uh, water heaters, electric uh, dryers, uh, ranges, ovens, um, uh, heat sources, things that require a lot of energy um, typically run on 240. Uh, and, and so that's, uh, yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, if not, uh, shoot me another question and I will try to answer it another way. I want to make sure that everybody understands um, all this stuff and I want to give everybody opportunity to get on the same page before we move forward so all right well if you haven't already uh, don't forget to uh, go down below subscribe uh, do lots of electrical and HVAC videos and I do other stuff and you know uh, 
working on the Jeep in the garage and welding and uh, tinkering and making and fabricating and camping and hiking and uh, just all sorts of stuff. So um, uh, stick with us and, and uh, uh, we'll have another video out soon and hope to see you in the next one.